there. Thank you so much for joining us today for our panel discussion. Today, I have the great joy of being with my dear friends, Kathy Richman and Linda Baker for this panel discussion. I've got the topic, but before we get into that, let's open with a time of prayer. I invite you to settle in, close your eyes if that's comfortable, take a breath, and turn within. Mother, Father, God, Divine Spirit, let us rejoice in your presence, in your love, as we learn together and share together our ideas, our thoughts, our strengths. Help us to reach the right listeners and to be balanced in divine wisdom. Thank you, God. Amen. Okay, so we are going back to the path just a little bit to 2021. This is a daily word. It's the November, December one. And the word was kind of interesting. It's one that I haven't seen come up. So I will read the daily word from December 3rd, 2021. And then we'll have a little talk about it. The word is reach. The affirmation is, I reach for a fuller experience of life. And the reading, my life expands each time I extend my heart, my hand, or my awareness in new directions to further my growth. I enrich my soul and involve my consciousness when I open myself to fresh experiences. From making friends to visiting unfamiliar places, life is richer when I take it in bold directions. Centering in the awareness of spirit, I discern the next step along my path. I wonder where I will be called to go and how I may be of service along the way. Knowing I am divinely guided and inspired, I have faith that I will find the perfect circumstances that allow my life to blossom into its fullest expression. I can't wait to discover which new and exciting adventures are in store for me when I reach for them. And the scripture is from Matthew 6.33. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Okay, I really love that one. And if you know my story, I think you know why I love that one. Um, I try and live an adventurous life. I try to be open to new experiences and new things, whether it's a new food, a different kind of a movie or a place I've never been before. I always try and be open to the new and I always try and take God with me. That doesn't mean I always enjoy everything, but even if I find the experience isn't quite to my taste. I really still feel, feel like it was worth doing, that I was reaching for it. I'm also raising dogs. I got two dogs as puppies, and uh, we've been raising them and teaching them. We have a great big backyard for them to play in, but I wanted them leash trained so that I could take them to the vet or whatever I needed to do. And we have found that in walking them, they are smarter. They're exposed to new smells, new experiences, new things. It calms them down and it helps them problem solve. You can really watch them coming up with different solutions. They meet different people, different dogs, different animals. They know about squirrels and butterflies and snakes and all kinds of things that they may not have known about in the backyard. So not only is it good for me, it's also good for my animals to take them out 
and out of their comfort zone and let them have new adventures. So that's my topic, ladies. How do you reach for new things in life? Oh, I'll respond to that. I find that when I'm feeling like I'm I'm not I'm not serving my purpose. What I know what my purpose is, and it's to give back. And when I'm not doing it, then I start reaching out and I'm I'm looking at different organizations and how could I volunteer here? And what do I what is it I want to do? Well, I want to work with children. So I've got I reached out to an organization and I'm waiting to hear back that they, she said she's got me at the top of her list and she's gonna call me as soon as they, they get everything worked out. So I think that. Uh, for me, reaching out to fill my life with the things that I believe I'm here to do is really important. When I am just kind of sitting back and not giving a lot, not out doing a lot, um, I feel this pull. And I, I, a lot of you know that I do teach uh, Toastmasters once a week to incarcerated women and we're going to finish up here in about three weeks and so I've already contacted them and the men's prison said we don't want another week to get laps we okay we want to be back in the men's prison and that's just an example of reaching out and making things happen in your life uh, you have to do that because they don't always fall in your lap and I love what you said about the the dogs. I think that 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 that's so true with our animals. But I think for me personally, this this topic really spoke to me because I think it's um, it's what makes me happy is when I am fulfilling something and I had to reach out and find it. So thanks for for sharing that, Reverend Linda. Yes, thank you, Reverend Linda. That's a good subject. And uh, uh, looking at new directions and new experiences is uh, something that I've really been doing all of my life. Uh, when, when I think of uh, new directions, I think of all the different places, all the different states that I've lived in and different occupations that I've had. And I'm not even part of a military family, uh, <laughs> but uh, I have certainly seen a lot of this country and, and some of the other countries. And, and I've always loved the travel and, and uh, learning about the new cultures and trying their foods because it, in so doing it, it took me into another way of reaching out. And that was into uh, my spirituality and focusing more on my spirituality and learning about the different schools of thought across the world. It's just amazing. And one thing that I realized in so doing that uh, we're, we're all on different paths, but we're all climbing the same mountain to get to the same top. And I think that that's, that's uh, the epitome of being able to reach out to find the oneness where we all connect. And thank you, I love the subject. You're welcome. Yes, I really loved it too. And it was a word that I don't see in the daily word monthly rotation. So it really stood out to me. I was glad to, to be able to share it when I went back and looked. You know, some of the things I have reached out for were riding in a hot air balloon and skydiving and zip lining in the in the redwoods and um, cruising to different countries and driving all over this country. And I said, yeah, dogs get smarter with different experiences. But just like Kathy pointed out, we get smarter too. And we reach a greater understanding when we're helping each other. And even you said it, Linda, we understand so much more about other people if we will just reach out into their world and understand the path they're on. Thank you so much. Are there other comments before we wrap this up? 
Okay, well, let us know what you are reaching for. Thank you so much for sharing our panel discussion. If you have a favorite topic or idea or a special truth that you've learned about and you want to share with everyone else, join us. We would be happy to share your topic and let you guide a panel discussion. Think about it. Have a blessed day. Bye. Thank you for joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook, search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos and leave comments which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.